best of high end. Experience the beauty of audio and video. Of course, a very interesting question is what about the future for audio and video? Yeah, yeah. Audio video experience that always goes together. Yeah. Um, let's start with the video part first. Yeah. Because I see there a, in, in, in a big evolution as well. You see new things coming up like 4K, so a high resolution, which is bringing us closer to, let's say, yeah, a natural picture perhaps. Yeah, High dynamic range, which is giving the difference between black and white. So black is more black and white, so that we have that as well coming closer to what we will see in real life. Yeah. Uh, and these are two parameters which are, let's say, we are, which are we can easy see. Yeah, so you can easy see the difference in resolution, easy see the difference in dynamic range. But I think that something else is much more important. If you're talking about an immersive experience, that goes more to the subconscious level. Yeah. Now we talk about the moving industry, but it is not moving pictures. Yeah, it's uh, in fact the picture is typically on Blu-ray is 24 frames per second, which means you have like in fact stills. And our brain has a problem with these stills. Our subconscious brain, our let's say our conscious brain sees it as a fluent movement, yeah? But our subconscious not. Our subconscious has to interpolate this, uh, let's say, these different frames, and that requires brain power. And that's one of the reasons why if you're long watching film or something, it, you're getting fatigue. It's not about following the story or something like that. It's, a, it's one of those parts, yeah? And you see as well, measurements have shown that after a while, brain activity goes up. And if you have, let's say, in a natural environment, the whole day you analyze audiovisual things. Yeah. So the question is, uh, how many frames per second do we need to come to that experience that we have almost like that our subconscious feels it as well as a natural, normal experience? Yeah. Test has been done by Professor Dextra, uh, and he tested like about 2,000 people. And we all thought that, okay, the more pitches per second, so the less brain power and the more relaxing it will be. But that curve doesn't go like that. The curve goes like suddenly at a certain amount, it really drops to, to zero. And that amount is about 40, uh, 54, 56 frames per second. So probably you heard as well about people talking about the Hobbit in 48, that it was like more technical things like that. And But okay, there was less blur in the picture. There was, it was a little bit more, uh, let's say, um, a little bit more uh, technically correct, yeah, but uh, compared to 24. But if you compare then, I saw uh, as well from James Cameron in, in, in a part of a, fo a video that he created three years ago, yeah, in 60 frames per second in 3D per eye, that was amazing. And he showed as well the difference with 48, only this 12 yeah, frames extra. And that's what I, what I learned 10 years ago when I, I knew it about, but uh, I really experienced this a few years ago for the first time, that what it is. And that's, that's totally new. It brings you really so close to the action on screen. Uh, our subconscious it is so much, much more relaxing as well. So I think that's an important topic. If we can bring all those technologies together and a higher resolution and a higher dynamic range and high frame rate, that will be a completely new video experience. Yeah? That, of course, has to get along with an audio experience. And that's what you see already. The big comment on 4K is, let's say, with 4K, surround sound is not good enough. Because you see, like, an enhanced experience in the video, uh, let's say, in, yeah, in the picture quality. But you need, as well, something which is matching. And audio is a very important part of it. Because it is, it is especially the audio experience, which is, let's say, bringing to our brain the feeling if we are there or not. You cannot do it, you can do it with the best video equ equipment or with the best re reproduction, but if the audio is not telling our brain what it is, and that's a very subconscious experience. The visual part is much more a conscious one, what you see, what you analyze, but audio is always like a very subconscious thing. Now, our the audio sense is the most developed sense we have. Yeah? It's the only sense that we develop before we are born. It's the only sense, let's say, in the belly of the mother, four first months before we are born, that sense starts to be developed. All the other senses are developed after we are born. Yeah? Now, that's the fastest part as well in our brain. That goes so fast, yeah? only four to five millionth of a second is needed to, let's say, to bring the pulses on our ears to the cortex. Now, four to five microseconds, that's the same wavelength as a 200 kilohertz sample. 
So that's the reason why we hear spatial differences up to 200 kilohertz. We can only hear up to 20 kilohertz, uh, let's say, uh, the frequencies itself. But the time relationship between everything what we hear is almost factor 10 more sensitive. And it is especially the spatial environment which is so important. Now, the more I know about sound, the more I un and, and our brain, the more I understand it is almost impossible to reproduce natural sound. Uh, so the question is how can you do that in the most efficient way? Because sometimes people think the more speakers we have, the more channels we have, the more natural it is. That's not true. It is. It 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 all depends the way it is being recorded and as well the the flexibility of the format. Yeah, and there are like many ways and many tests being done. So one of the most important things is how can we get it as efficient as possible, that we can have everywhere that same experience. Yeah. So and I think in the future it, that's a very important topic. I think let's say bringing this this more uh, let's say subconscious experience. In, and because it's all about storytelling, you know, whatever you do, even if it is an, a football game you watch or it is like a, a movie which is being told or it is like the music, yeah, all these people, the main important, the, the most important thing for them is bringing their story, bringing their emotion. And that's in fact what is so interesting on this new technology. It brings us an enhanced emotion. And I think that's, that's what I feel, that's the nice things about, let's say, the fact that people of art, they have this technology now available to bring much more creativity, to bring it to all consumers, and they can consume much closer, in fact, the, the emotional intention which was originally there. Yeah? And I think that's the exciting thing of the future. We will have a higher emotional experience compared to our parents. Best of high end. Experience the beauty of audio and video. Sign up for free at bestofhighend.com.